Hey, what's up guys? Plastic Guy here with another figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Superman figure. This guy looks awesome and I can't wait to get him out of the box, take a closer look at him. The McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures so far have been looking fantastic. They've got the movie Wonder Woman which looks great, I definitely think I'm going to pick that up soon. They've got a few Batman figures. I've got the Batman figures that I want at the moment, so I'm not in any rush to get them. They did release an Arkham Asylum Batman. I've got this one from when the game came out. We'll take a closer look at him later when we compare the figures. So I'm not in any rush to get any of the Batmans. I might pick up the Joker if the price is right. But at the moment, this is the guy I've picked up. I don't have many Superman figures in my collection. This guy looks great. When he was first released, I did think I was going to get him. He was around £22 and I wasn't really willing to pay that. I went to Smith's Toy Store the other day. And this guy, along with the likes of Wonder Woman, who I just wish I kind of picked up now because the sculpt in her looked great. Uh, a lot of these figures were £10. The likes of the Batmans and the Jokers, they were 15 but Superman and a couple others were down to 10, so I definitely thought it was time to pick this guy up. Taking a look at the box here at the top, we've got some Mumbo Jumbo McFarlane toys and then just kind of information here. So 22 moving parts, 12 plus here, which I'm sure kids younger than that will be able to play with this guy. DC Multiverse Superman. And the side, Superman, Action Comics, a thousand, DC Multiverse again up at the top. Really nice box for the most part, and then on the back, just more of the same. Each figure comes with a collectible trading card, I'm presuming that's what the trading card is there. We'll be able to see when we open them up, more at the bottom. So yeah, a nice box. Um, I think I'll keep this guy out of the box. As I said, I don't have many Superman figures, so I think this is the guy that I'll leave on display. But um, yeah, let's get him out of the packaging, see what this guy's up to. So here we have Superman out of the packaging, and this guy looks great. We'll just take a look at what he comes with first. So here he has a clobbering hand, and then he's also got more of... A grabby hand here but it doesn't come with anything that to actually grab but if you have any accessories lying around you can just pop that in there and then here is the trading card that he comes with and I really like this it's really sturdy um, nice and thick and it has some information here so if you want to read that just hit the pause button so yeah, I really like that trading card, especially if you're going to collect more of these McFarlane figures. You could get a good collection going. So we'll take a closer look at Superman here. He comes with this stand, which I was really happy with when I saw this in the packaging. It just pushed me to buy this figure because these stands come in great use, especially if you're posing Spider-Man figures and all the rest of it. So I'll show you the stand it's kind of hard to get Superman here, so I've just kind of put him in a generic pose for the time being. But here's the stand. You've got the DC logo here, and you've also got a wee peg so you could put his foot in, which is probably easier to support this Superman figure. And then you've just got the clamps here, which you can just move about like so. So that is really useful, as I said, I'll probably be mostly using it for the likes of posing my Spider-Man figures. And you can see all my pictures that I take over on my Instagram. The link will be in the bio if you want to hop on over there and check out some of my figures and other collection pieces. So this is Superman here. So we'll take a closer look at Superman out of the packaging. Really nice head sculpt. I think that really captures the likeness of Superman with the kind of curl in the hair. And yeah, nothing really to complain about. Good head sculpt. 
the back of the figure here. I think the cape's dead nice, looks cool. The logo is just, I think, maybe one of the best parts. Really big. Nice colouring on it. So yeah, it's just a, your classic Superman costume. Just the sculpt is great. Great paint apps as well. You can't complain, especially when this guy only cost a tenner. So I'm really happy with him. Trying to get him to stand is a bit difficult, but that is why we have the base. So we can't really complain. I'll just run over the articulation on this guy. So his head oh, moves about that far. Moves about that far. You can kind of see the gapage here. I don't know what sort of joint that is. You can see a peg in there. It's not really a peg. It's, it feels more rubbery. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of odd. The head joint here. But you get a good range of movement with it anyway. Looks down. Back into the middle. The cape, as far as I know, isn't really detachable. But... It's not a problem, I don't know why you'd want to detach it anyway, but I suppose if you want to put a replacement cape or something on, you can find a way to take that off. The arms move outwards, let's see, like this much, get it up, right up, that joint there, you've got bicep swivel, and then you've also got this joint at the elbow there so you get a right angle beats hand right up for a good flying pose uh, you've also got a good range of movement in the wrist here and then you can obviously swap those hands out same with this other arm over here and then the legs can move out that much and oh, forward about that much so good kick forward and then doesn't move back that much but there you go and then the same with the other leg you got double jointed knees good superman pose get the, those knees right back there and then good range of articulation down at the feet Good ankle movements. Swivel them about a bit. And then you've also got toe articulation, which I've not seen in a while on the newer figures, but there you go. So that's about the articulation. And this guy's got an ab crunch here, so you can move that far back and that far forward. Left and right. So there you have it for Superman. Some other Superman figures I have is this guy. Look how old he is. I'd love to know what year this guy came out. This was given to me by my dad. He played with it as a kid. I played with it quite a lot. His arms are super good in place, but if you squeeze the legs, you would do some sort of motion. So that's a really old Superman right there. And then the only other Superman figure in my collection is this guy. So I believe this is the DC Designer series. I got this guy for about £10 as well. Um, I think it's a good representation. I liked him because he had the laser eyes. Yeah, I don't know. A decent Superman figure, I was happy with him for £10, but um, now I've got this guy in the collection, he's he's the main Superman. Really like the articulation, um, the sculpt is excellent, the colours, just everything really captures that Superman character. So for £10, can't beat it, and I'm really happy that you get one of these stands as well, I'm definitely going to be making use of that in the future. Um, just to pose him next to a Batman figure, as I mentioned, these McFarlane uh, figures do include an Arkham Asylum Batman, who I was tempted to pick up, but I'm still happy with this guy. 
can't quite remember who made him, but he came out at the time of the game, uh, Arkham City, I believe. Articulation is rubbish, but the sculpt is really good. Um, and I think he holds up, especially next to the likes of that Superman there, especially in height. They're both around 7 inches tall. That's it for today's review, guys. Thanks very much for tuning in. Please hit that like button and subscribe for future reviews. I uh, really like this figure. Hope you guys did too. And I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop later.